I am deeply honored by the uh, opportunity to serve in this leadership capacity for such a great university. Uh, Berkeley has been one of the great institutions of higher learning ever since it was established over 100 years ago. And to have the chancellorship of that great university now attached to my name, still, of course, in a designate role, uh, is just a, a huge honor for me. We all know about the excellence of Berkeley, but it also is a university that by virtue of its being public, by virtue of recent decisions that have, in, that have stressed diversity, uh, that have built in the middle class access program, that have uh, absolutely uh, took on board the need to, have as, to recruit as many Pell Grant students as possible, has a public mission that is completely in concert with its research and scholarly excellence. So the first thing I want to do is help to celebrate and preserve those aspirations and to be as committed as I possibly can to advancing both the excellence and the commitment to access that is part of the DNA of the University of California at Berkeley. I join with the people of this state to celebrate what the University of California is, but also to commit myself not just to pre preserving the university and all of its excellence, but also in trying to find new ways to make the university relevant to the kinds of problems we face as a society. All universities say they have three prongs. They have research, teaching, and public uh, responsibilities. I think at the University of California, Berkeley, we start with the public mission, mm -hmm. and then we go to research, and then we go to education. But in fact, we see them, of course, as continuous, as all connected to each other, and as mutually interdependent uh, in terms of establishing the uh, importance of the work that's being done in the university. If we fail to provide the kind of opportunities for education that the University of California provides, we will be impoverishing the public sector, we will be impoverishing the public sphere, and ultimately we will be eroding the basis on which democracy can and must work.